Hello, my name is Samantha Marksberry with the Living in SC team here at Real Broker. Welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be discussing the top five restaurants here on the Grand Strand. Before we begin, if you've been thinking about moving to our area and would like some more information, please text us at this number below or send us an email at info at livinginsc.com. Now, let's get into it. Coming in at my number one is going to be Bar 1912, located at 1912 Highway 17 in North Myrtle Beach. Do you see what they did there? I am a bit biased when it comes to this establishment simply because I am really great friends with the chef that works here and has inspired this one-of-a-kind menu. Vinny is from Maryland, so he has took his experience from Maryland, from living in South Carolina, from his Italian heritage, and has created a really awesome menu and what I think is one of a kind for North Myrtle Beach. This menu is centered around an extensive bourbon list, crafted cocktails, and infused liquors. So the menu really matches whatever cocktail you were going to order that night. Just ask your waitress what would be the best pairing for the dish that you were thinking about getting and you will be directed in the right direction. This restaurant features tapas or small plates that Vinny has crafted and played around with and critiqued in a way that no other restaurant I feel on this beach does. He puts his heart and his soul into the food that he is serving all of his customers because ultimately he lives within this community and really just wants the best for all of you. So that being said, some of my favorite items that he does have on the menu today would be the made to order deviled eggs best deviled eggs I've ever had. They are completely not the way that I've had them on Thanksgiving day. Another thing is his Colby burger. So yes, even though it is a more upscale elegant place, he has figured out a way to even put some flair into a burger. Being from Maryland, this is another plus. He is able to make a Maryland style crab cake. So if you are from Maryland looking to move to South Carolina, don't you fret. You will have somewhere you can still have a taste of home. Also, a really great plus is the elegance that you feel when you walk through those doors. It is definitely inspired by the glitz and glam of the 1920s. There are blues and crystal, and their focal point is their bar that displays all of their high-end featured bourbons. But wait, there's more because Bar 1912 is doing so well that they have decided to open a second location, but this one is going to be inspired by wine. The name of this restaurant that is going to be opening sometime around the summer is called Bin 2004, located at 2004 Highway 17 North Myrtle Beach. They did it again. This is going to be a tapas place as well, but also instead of the crafted cocktails focus, it is going to be focused on pairing it with your favorite wines. So whether you are a wine person or cocktail person, Vinny is going to have a dish to go with either. It is definitely a great place to go because they want a great experience for everyone. What they have also done is have a outdoor bar that allows you to enjoy your meal and conversation while also overlooking a really pretty golf course and listening to some live music. Or if you are someone that wants the privacy, maybe a more intimate night, you can head upstairs to their very private dining experience with a private tasting room. I thought that that feature was pretty cool. But remember, these places fill up very quickly, so call and make a reservation ahead of time. 
Coming in at my number two, it's going to be Crave Italian Oven and Bar, located at 5900 North Kings Highway in Myrtle Beach. They are, if you haven't guessed it, a wood fire pizza place and Italian dish. So they have every traditional Italian dish you can think of. Um, they pair these with wines and crafted cocktails but my personal favorite thing that they serve would be their pizza. Thin crust, customize it however you want with whatever toppings you want. It is a great place that offers pizza with really great atmosphere. So when you walk in, you will notice the old world kind of ambiance with the black and white portraits of all these famous old world celebrities and leather booths, dim lighting. In the middle, there's community style tables. And they also have a really nice bar that wraps around um, that you can enjoy your drinks. It is very quaint inside, so you will get to know your neighbor. It is a really great time to experience even with your children so they are family friendly my children do love their pizza it's a really great place to go if you're in the myrtle beach area coming in at my number three is going to be an establishment called shine Shine is located at 1229 shine avenue in myrtle beach this is just outside of the Market Common area. Market Common is actually expanding, so I'm sure one day it will be inside of the area. However, it is a very sought after community. So this restaurant really based their establishment on community, being very welcoming. Something I love that they do is host events on their lawn, whether it be yoga or Pilates or different art events. On their website, you will be able to locate the next time that they will open up early to just invite the community around them in to enjoy a good time meeting new people. This restaurant is fairly new to our community, so it's, you know, the new hot thing at the moment, but it ought to be because if you are a seafood lover, it is where you can get your seafood mixed with a little bit of upscale class a retro design and a very light bright and airy welcoming environment my personal favorite dish is the bang bang grouper i'm obsessed with it it comes as a sandwich but if you are not somebody that enjoys seafood they do have other options that you can get that do not have seafood in them but if you do love seafood this is definitely the place to go they offer oysters, shrimp, fish, any sort of lobster, anything you could imagine, they have it and it's phenomenal. They also offer refreshing cocktails, super summery things that just make you want to be outdoors. During the week, Monday through Thursday, they will open at 4 p.m., but Friday through Sunday, they will open at 12 p.m. for you to enjoy their lunch service. Coming in at my number four is going to be another favorite of mine, but I don't get to go to as often anymore, is going to be New York Prime. So New York Prime has a few locations in the eastern side of the United States. However, Myrtle Beach is one of them. Located at 405 28th Avenue North in Myrtle Beach is a very high-end and well-known steakhouse. New York Prime is known for its very selective menu. It is a small menu because people usually go to this steakhouse with one thing in mind and one thing only, and that is either their steak, their lobster, or their sea bass. I personally get the petite filet with a side of cheesy mashed potatoes, which is enough for two, and some sort of vegetable, whether it be asparagus, Brussels sprouts, sometimes I'll get the onions, but either way, when we leave there, 
we know that we just got exactly what we wanted. You go for that one experience. New York Prime is based on old New York, so the ambiance is dark and their kitchen is exposed so you get to see all of the professionals hard at work service is top tier top notch they have the old rolly carts that help deliver the food you go to this establishment for not only the food but also the experience that is one of a kind i absolutely love this restaurant my husband and i are planning a date night here very soon um, the wait staff the food the ambiance it's top tier top notch and we really enjoy it coming in at my number five is definitely going to be perones in Polly's island located at 13302 ocean highway in Polly's island Perones is a place that offers a very worldly menu, but is more Mediterranean focused with a little bit of inspiration from Indian and Asian cultures with the type of spices and seasonings that he uses. This chef was featured on Chef Swap, which is on TV. It is a local broadcast of different establishments swapping their chefs for the others just to see the difference in quality. I do believe this particular chef definitely specializes in what Perones offers. My favorite dish to get from this establishment would be the crab soup and a side salad of some sort. However, my husband has raved about their steaks and their seafood. So if you are in that area and you are looking to have a great meal, this is definitely a place I would get it. Perone's decor is very welcoming and inviting and warm with all of the watercolors and the mural artwork, the exposed barrels, and just dim lighting. It's a very great place to have a relaxing time with all of your loved ones. So there you have it. Out of 2,000 restaurants, I have narrowed it down to my top five favorite in each town here on the Grand Strand. Once again, I am Samantha Marksberry with the Living in SC team here at Real Broker. If you are thinking about moving to our area and would like some more information, please text us at this number below or send us an email at info at livinginsc.com and someone will get back to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and we will see you next time.